Hey Natachos, welcome to episode 7 of Try Not To Suck At Airport CEO. Thanks for joining me today. Uh, we've so far built a good airport. You know, it's making money, it's doing what it needs to do. Flights are coming in and, and landing, but how ugly is it? I mean, we we really need to we really need to fix this. So in the previous episodes, we've been we've been looking at the uh, functionality of our transport hubs. We've been looking at um, upgrading everything else just to improve our rating with the airlines and just making sure that everybody is everybody is happy and we're being offered as many flights as we possibly can. Um, and we also spent some time uh, launching our international division so we can start accepting international flights through passport control. So we've got an airport, we're making quite a bit of money, we're doing all right for ourselves and I think it's now time to focus on making this looking a lot better than it currently is, especially when you look at the passenger ratings and you can see that we are really bad at services and really bad at our terminal quality so let's let's spend some time doing that so if you remember back to episode uh, six we were starting to research some uh, of the baggage handling things ready for our big terminal project so the tilt trays are done um, which is great and then the, the baggage security tier two is then going to is going to unload that as well I'm just also now going to do the belt loader uh, that's going to give us a bit, a bit of a better way of putting baggage on and off of our planes. Uh, now, I'm not entirely sure how much baggage facility these small stands actually use and whether we're going to be wasting our time doing it. I know later on when we do our big terminal, we're definitely going to, definitely going to need it. But I think we still need to incorporate it as part of our early terminal design here. So this is, this is what we're going to do. This is what we're going to do to start with. We're going to, we're going to finish off our terminal we're going to make sure that everything is looking looking good for a change but we need to think this through properly because this is now going to be where before we've we've just been placing things I'm just going to get rid of my contractors i thought i'd already done that um where, whereas before we were just placing things for the sake of placing things and making it functional now we need to start making it look good we need to start thinking about how we're going to do that and whether we're going to open any more stands and, and how that's going to be shaped so the first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to spend a big chunk of money on a new foundation, just like that. Um, so that's now going to create our L shape that we wanted. And I'm thinking we can still extend over this way if we want to. Um, I still plan on putting some of the bigger, uh, more profitable shops in the middle of the two, in the middle of the two terminals, so that passengers arrive right both terminal one and two can use the central, central bits if they if they want. Um, Okay, so just gonna check the contracts here, make sure they're all still going. Great. Right, so we now need to think through how we're going to how we're going to actually do this. So we're going to need space for baggage, and we're going to need space for check-in, and we're going to need a new way of bringing people in and out. So, uh, of security. So I think let's for a start. Let's place windows. So we're going to go uh, one, two, I reckon three windows, two doors, and then we can copy this, go three windows, two doors, and actually if we stick to that kind of method, we need to come out, don't we, four more. So let's do that, it gives us a bit more space, a bit more symmetry. So let's, get let's go ahead and copy this again. One, two, three, one, two. Great, okay. Is that right? Yes, because we're going to extend this out again anyway, aren't we? So that's fine. Um, okay, so the next thing we need to do then is, is to plan check in. So we're going to need. Um, we're going to need some desks and we're going to need to allow some space for the baggage handling. And we're also going to need to allow space for queues. Um, so I reckon we can use the, the space behind it as a secure international zone where we can put some facilities as well. So we almost need to split this into two, don't we? Um, so let's say across here, we find this then could be security. Let's go a bit more security doesn't need to be that big but the concourse although terminal one's only serving servicing 12 or so gates 
we can bring the, we can bring some gates across here. So we're going to need some more checking desks. Okay, so that's fine. Um, in fact, that wall is definitely going to need to come across anyway, isn't it? It's a passport control. So that's fine. We're going to need to get rid of this wall. I reckon baggage collection could be in this space here. Great, okay. So, uh, let's... Maybe we don't put windows there after all. That's going to be security. Then we can do this kind of thing. And we block it out. Okay, cool. So, check-in desks we need. Uh, so, let's go down to desks. Desks. So I'm going to do a mixture of um, sort of like smaller checking desks, uh, sorry, medium checking desks because they allow the baggage and also baggage drop and self check in. It just means that if we get to the point where we don't have enough check in desks for what for whatever reason, those automatic ones, the the automated ones, they can do the work for us. So that's that's going to help us a little bit. Um, so to I've left a space between the wall and the desk so that we can put the baggage conveyor belt in. Um, we're also going to need baggage drops. So let's go. Actually, let's put a wall in between. Let's give it a bit of space. Let's go. Uh, Jane desk, baggage drop, and go. So let's do the same. Let's go in there, goes in there, now it's there. One, two, three. Let's do four. No, let's do five. There we go. Because then what we can do is we can do a wall out here, bring a wall down here, and this can then be toilets. Toilets, toilets, like that. But we can also do the same this side as well. So Do what we did down at the uh, down at the bottom of the terminal. That's four. It's two, two, five. Do that. Okay. So this is, this is looking all right. This is looking like it's uh, it's starting to take a bit of shape. So the next thing uh, we're going to need to do is to have a look at some of the, the facilities and the guest services. So I think uh, there's the door here. I would like to put some gate seating in, but I would also like some kind of a shopping shopping facility going on so um let's put our gate seating in first because we can we can always copy copy that can't we so we've got the doors there i'm gonna leave a bit of space between them so if we do it in the middle of the grid like this there, there. Uh, okay so that's going to cover one window we need to decorate the place as well a little bit we need to give it a bit more flair so Let's give it some kind of decent decoration like this. Let's copy that and we can put that there, put that there. I reckon we can probably um, put them here as well. What do we use this? No, let's use this for shops actually. Just a small, just a small thing. I know we, I know we're going to be putting a big one here, but when we start getting busy later. It's going to, it's going to help. So, and plus we need to move these anyway. So we can do that now. Uh, so let's go food room. And I don't, I don't want to put any walls. I want them to be pretty open, open plan. Um, because that's what you'd see, right? That's what you'd see in a, in, in a, in a real, in a real situation, in a real airport. Um, so let's be a bit lazy and let's just copy over the facilities that we've got here because at least we know that when that contract runs out we can move it across without having to worry about it um, so that to there 
We're also going to copy across the seating as well. Which I quite like quite like the seating. Um so we're gonna go one, two, just leave a bit of gap. Across the window, one, two, three, and maybe that's too close. I think. No, let's leave. Let's leave that gap. Okay, and then we're going to do the same for the desk, for the shop. So it's that way, and let's put that down this side, and then also do the same. Shelves. So we're going to go inside the shop. One, two, three, and then put some of the smaller shelves down here. One, two, stand. There we go. It's a bit cramped. It's probably not what you'd see in, in real life, but it's it's fine. It's sufficient. Um, so the next thing we need to do then is think about flight information and our and our actual guests and our passengers trying to find places. So we've got two options. We can either use the information desks, which they, they have staff needs, or we can use an information display. Um, and I think this is probably going to be our, our best one. But we're going to want to keep them as close to the door as well as, as, as we can, um, just so that we can... Um, we can keep the flow of, of passengers. So let's go either side because people are going to be wanting to look at flights and where to go from check-in surely um, let's also decorate it a bit as well it's one either side uh, so we've got this space here for for the queues this space for checking in um, we should probably use this space actually for some automatic desks uh, so let's go Do what's which way do they face that way? Um, so let's go. How many do we want? Don't want that many, do we? Because we've got enough desks. This is just going to be a bit of an overflow. Um, so I don't think, from what I've seen so far, I don't think passengers choose self check in. You can't check in using check into any flight using these desks. As far as I can see, let's just do let's do a couple. Um, okay, so great. So that's our new-ish terminal entrance. We need to do the toilets. So let's go ahead and put our door in. Door. door. I'm gonna go ahead. Give it the zoning it needs and now let's start placing them so I reckon toilets down this wall because then we can copy them down this wall I reckon we need some sinks let's make this a bit fancier so let's go here but also here and this side because in, in if we're thinking realism in real life your pipe would come down the middle wouldn't it so you'd have them backing onto each other um, you'd want a bit more space here i think but that's fine then we can maybe put some more along the back here just for filling up the space great okay um now let's think about some decoration um make the toilets look a little bit fancier so I reckon we use the hedge here, do you think? Or should we use, no, let's use a plant. Let's go with a banana plant. Because then we can do a one as well, can't we? Is there a one? Yeah, there's a one. There we go. So we can do something like that. Great, okay. Um, and then what I want to do it's almost a reverse image of this, the other side as well. So let's do that. Bathroom. Go 
Toilets again. Sinks. is it uh, there because those to go along here those along here those along here and we need doors let's go from there from there uh, okay actually these need to come down don't they just grab those, delete it, bring it through. Let's grab those, delete it, and bring it through. There we go. Okay, so we're ready for this to be our international zone toilets, and we're going, going to be able to put some kind of facilities and everything along here as well. So we could put another another shop, maybe. Um, in fact, let's just do the real lazy thing, like the really really lazy thing. Let's go ahead and we need to put the zones down first. Now we're around. So food first. Two, three. Oh. oh, I can't work it out. Why is that? One. Okay, so it's there. I think it's. Let's just do this. Must be 18 by 11. There you go. That was so much harder than needed to be. the wrong room anyway. So much harder than that needed to be, really, didn't it? Uh, 18 by 11. 18 by 11. And then shop. Also 18 by 11. So now we can go ahead and copy all of this. Be really, really, really lazy. There we go. Okay, so we're also going to do that with the gate seating too. So this international zone is going to need gate seating. Um, and I'd like to put it in the middle here so that it's out of the way. Um, but we could also put them up against the, up against here as well. Uh, actually, let's do that. One, two, three. Come on, needs to be central. Two, three, four. There we go. Do the same there. Not going to put it here. This is going to be our entry point, and then we can put them in the centre here. So if we go, uh, maybe like this. There. There, and then we can copy everything, move it across. That in the middle there. Great. Okay, and we'll do another one. Two, three, four. Two, three, four, five. There. Great. Okay. So this is this is going to now mean that we've got a, a much bigger international area. We're going to have some more facilities. Um, I'd also like to put in some of the tables and chairs as well, um, just in, in the area so that people can choose to use those instead. So uh, let's put those maybe in the middle here, because you don't have to be in a food court area to enjoy a good table and chair or a sofa. Um, there we go. And I'd also think we need to copy across our flight information too, because otherwise how else are you going to know? How your flights are. So let's put one there. I think let's put one there. One over here. Like that. Okay. So I'm happy with that so far. Um, we're going to need to build all of this so that we can put our uh, security zone in. Um, 
hopefully, so that contract is now ended, which is okay because we can now move that up here. That one's not gone not, not got long left, has it? 17 hours. Um, brilliant, okay. Let's bring the builders back in. Let's get this built and then we can start laying down floor work and queue work. Um, we can start closing off these areas and start planning out how we're going to do baggage control. Um, so I think I'd like to put the baggage collection here uh, and split this in, into two like this so that your security comes down this way um, and your baggage comes out this way. I think that's our best way of doing it but we need to uh, we need to build all of this first. It's almost like we need to do this as a, as a phased approach. Uh, there we go. So let's bring forward our security zone because we know we're definitely doing that. I'm, just, I'm going to carry on using the small checkpoints um, purely because the big ones I don't think offer that much. For this terminal they're not going to offer that much of benefit. They take more staff. They have better facilities and they, but they take more staff to do and I don't think our flights warrant doing that. So I'm just going to build a row like this and then wall up that bit just to make sure it's secure. Great and you can see now our terminal's already starting to be used and I'm hoping the rating should now be starting to improve um, which is a good, good thing. Okay so let's bring our queue out Bit of you wants to do it as a, a as a bit of a cattle pen, really, isn't it? Um, I want to make sure that we stay in with decoration a little bit. We can always remove it; it becomes too busy. But I think decoration on this is sort of a little bit key. Let's make it a bit friendlier. Let's make it a bit nicer. Um, we're also going to want flight information as soon as you come in here. Let's do there because you're going to want to know if you're going into passport control or not, aren't you? So um, now we need to think this one through a bit better. So I think we need to change the direction of these. I think we need to do up this way and out this way. I know I know we said in the previous video we weren't going to look at separating them, but at the moment they're going to cross over and it's going to be a bit of a bit of a nightmare. So at least if people are coming in through security here and then up this way then those that are arriving can come back down this way and out through baggage collection. So I think let's do that. Um, and I am going to build a wall for that. Let's build a wall down here like this. So we're almost directing people, physically directing them through. Now that also means that we can drag our zone down like this drag our zone down like this. Uh, let's meet international zone, because that's a bathroom zone I've just chosen. <laughs> Done it again. International zone down here, like that. Um, I'm going to do reverse passport control. So we're going to go um, in this way, aren't we? We're going out this way because then once we've built those we can delete these we're going to then change the flow and then this is newly built so we can do the new contract so quick stop we can do a new we go and now we can go smart veg there and you're going to be done up here. So those those are now operational, which is great. Uh, and go ahead and start to delete these. I think. Oh, and that way. No, let's keep let's keep those for a minute. Let's keep those for a minute. Um, let's not get ahead of ourselves. So we also want to remove this wall, don't we? 
build one there. We want to remove this wall because this is just going to open up into one big lounge. Um, so we need to do security through here, way through here, and all the way down here. And international zone is also extended. No, I can't cross it. International zone all the way down here and all the way down here and all the way down here. So I'm hoping that should already pick up. There we go. So it's already picked up our existing. So now let's bring this down, let's bring this down, we can get rid of the ones we don't need, because we're swapping the direction, so let's go ahead and also swap that direction. Finishing, extending the wall down this way. Perfect. Okay, that's looking all right. Uh, we need to open our toilets, so let's go for female, male again. Male, like that. We need some contracts here. So who should we go? Can't go cranes. You know, let's go Belvere and let's go for another shop here. Uh, let's go. There you go. Alright, so we have managed to build a relatively okay-ish terminal. Um, it's working, it's starting to do what it needs to do. Um, checking desks, I'm going to go ahead and close the ones that we don't need. I don't know if that's going to be possible. Let's definitely close that one. That one. Because we're going to need to delete these later on. To fly the side to that one. Brilliant, okay. And so this side should now start to uh, pick up some of the slack of those new of those new flights that are coming in. Passengers seem to be using using the facilities down here. Um, ready before they check in which is good they are improving with the, the services so they're starting to be much happier with what we're doing um, so it's looking like we're heading in the right direction and we are still making money as we're doing this as well so even though we've just spent quite a bit on building a terminal um, we're actually still we're still okay so I think that's the the first phase of our uh, of our new terminal already finished um, in the next phase we're going to need to extend this international zone out a little bit further open a few new gates and build a, a baggage compartment bay um, we need to put some more windows in down here and make it a bit more a bit more friendly start putting the, the baggage area in and then we're going to need to do some flooring as well and just look, a, look make it look a little bit better in terms of aesthetics but we're, we're at least starting to think about our passengers more than our pockets now so um, we're starting to starting to head in that in that right direction so i think that's everything that we're going to wrap up for this episode um, and in the next episode we'll, we'll kick it on uh, so thank you for joining me thank you so much and i hope to see you in the next episode see you soon